Key Swizzle on Channel 95.7, 7-Eleven. Did you see that uh, Sony now probably won't be showing the uh, the interview? Like the hackers have won? You know, I saw that Franco and what's his face are not Rogan are not doing any. They're not doing any interviews, no. no press, nothing. Well, so here's what happened yesterday. What were the hackers trying to do? Stop the movie. Okay. Because they, well, if it's North Korea, they are mad about this movie. Okay. Now, if they're just hacking and it has nothing to do with it, just to be hackers, just to be hackers. But yeah. they definitely have uh, taken the media's uh, idea that it is North Korea and uh-huh. run with it. Yesterday, the hackers sent an email saying. If you show this movie, those theaters will be attacked. If you remember September 11, 2001, wow. that type of thing is going to happen again at theaters showing this movie. And if you live near a theater showing the movie, you're going to want to go somewhere else really? on the first day of the movie, which Christmas Day was supposed to be the movie. So either so are they pulling it? They the big premiere mm-hmm. is not happening now. Okay. You know where they have the red carpet yep. and everything. That's over. That's not happening. Some theaters and they're not doing any press. I no. saw that yesterday. They canceled everything. Some theaters are pulling the okay. the Christmas Day showings. Wow. They're done with it. Um, who knows? I mean, is this real or is this just a huge <sighs> media campaign? Like the, oh, that's interesting. Like they're doing a big promotional campaign, a big marketing thing, where I doubt that it is because of all the leaked emails. Right. But they, they got it. The movie is pretty much done. And it's like not like the leaked emails are fake. Right. I no. mean, because all the people who said things exactly. you know, that they didn't want seen, well, they've, and, some have apologized, so they're obviously real. And they leaked the main scene of the movie. Okay. Like so, the big the reason we're going to see this movie mm-hmm. is the big funny climax that got leaked. That was all over the internet yesterday. Wow. So like they really are t- attacking this movie and killing it. But did you see? Speaking of the emails, Alex Trebek almost quit Jeopardy. No, a couple weeks why? Ago in an email because Sony owns them. So he uh, was doing a children's Jeopardy episode. Okay. And I remember seeing it because the girl had like negative $1,400. Mm-hmm. And Alex said to her, and sadly, Connie, mm-hmm. you don't have an, any money. You will not be participating in Final Jeopardy, but you are going to get $1,000. And then it cut, and it was a weird cut. And I was like, uh, and then he like moved right on. And I was thinking, well, he could have said something else. But, so behind the scenes, in the actual taping, right. he said that to her. She freaked out crying. Her mom freaked out yelling at producers how rude he was to this little girl. And uh, that this is inappropriate and unacceptable. Really? The producers asked Alex to re- redo the line. Uh-huh. And he said no. And then he emailed the boss and said, Maybe it's time for me to be done. I'm not. I, you, I, I always have your back, Jeopardy. You never have my back, mm-hmm. including this instance that just happened today. Maybe it's time for me to go. So did you see? So you didn't see. I saw the episode, and then I did not see what happened. So you didn't see the mom yelling at the, no. like, all that, the no. unedited one. So they okay. cut all that out. All right. But it was just weird how he said that to the little girl, <laughs> and we saw her face, and then went right to him talking to somebody else. Did they, you think the way he said it was harsh? No, not harsh at all. Okay. Uh, but the mom thought it was harsh, and the little girl was crying. Yeah. But even on, like, How Mas- old are those kids? These kids were, I think, 11. Okay. Even though on Master Chef Junior, which is a weird show where kids cook right. and do awesome things right. that no human being can do, and these six-year-olds <laughs> do it. Like, yeah. There was an eight-year-old who didn't make the final two weeks ago, and she lost it. To James. And they gave her a hug, and they said, you know, yeah. good job. But you expect that. I mean, adults are sad when right. things don't go their way. Absolutely. You would expect this little girl to cry. She was Absolutely. crying. One of the older contestants was giving her a hug, and then the three judges came and gave her hugs mm-hmm. and said, hey, you know what? You're good. You just aren't as good as them. You know, this is what happens, and then sent her along. And she was on last night and gave the trophy to the winner and didn't seem to have any mm-hmm. ill feelings. But this is, it's just weird parenting. It's very uh, honey boo boo, where your daughter goes off the stage crying and then you're mad at the host. Right. Because she had negative $1,400. Right. So then Alex said he was going to quit. Like he didn't say, he said maybe, maybe it's time. Should, yeah. And yeah, then that's he said, crazy. He said, uh, this is not a threat. It's just how I'm feeling right now. Mm-hmm. So can you imagine if Alex Trebek quit? Does over Jeopardy a kid? go away at that point? He, you would think they would. Gosh, it's it's been him. You would think they'd find someone else. Like Bob Barker, the guy Drew Carey. 
They would find somebody. Maybe the, uh, maybe somebody working on the radio in Grand Rapids <laughs> would do a good job. Maybe they would. Super smart. When my parents were here for Thanksgiving, it's funny because they watch, um, what's the one? Family Feud and then Jeopardy okay. every night. Even with Steve Harvey? Yes. That's naughty. No, not Family Feud. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy every night. So on Friday after Thanksgiving or whenever, we get to watch it. Yeah. It's and exciting. I said, man, Jeopardy. Jeopardy's so hard. And, you know, we're all sitting there trying to scream. Yeah. 70 answers I got. Wow. 70 answers. Get on the show. It was a personal record for me. Was it uh, like a category you knew, like shoes? No, all different. <laughs> yeah, I wish. No, I don't know what happened to me. I just all of a sudden remembered things that I learned Your in cat school. Breeds. You're bouncing around the board. Yeah. Wow. 70 answers. We were watching the uh, the little kid version, like I said, with right. this week. And so I have an 8-year-old, a 9-year-old, and a 12-year-old. Mm-hmm. And I think the kids were 11. So I said to Haley, you should know all these. Mm. And she didn't know any of them. And I didn't know most no, of them. No, yeah. Like, the kids ones are supposed to be easy. The kids are smarter than you. Yes, it seems. Kids on Jeopardy don't even equal you. No. <laughs> Kid <laughs> on Jeopardy smarter than you. is greater than sign me. That is absolutely the truth. And good for them. Yeah. Seriously. But then you got a crybaby who runs backstage and her mom almost gets Alex Trebek to quit. Because she can't handle it. And we would never would have known any of this if right. not for the Sony leak. Right. The email. The Sony out. leak has been fascinating to me. It's crazy. It's been way more fascinating than the naked leak. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, the Sony uh, leak has been fascinating. That naked leak was good for like a day. This like, new stuff is coming out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like over. the gift that keeps on giving, exactly. really. Exactly. Things mm-hmm. are just popping out. Mm-hmm. And that's where I'm kind of sad that they're going to say, okay, we're not showing the movie. Then we won't get to see any more emails. Maybe it'll go straight to like on demand, Netflix. Well, so it's been already like bootlegged and pirated. Yeah. There's a guy who's going to drop the pirated DVD on North Korea. He said, hey, I'm just going to go and I'm doing, and he's going to get shot down and killed. I mean, it's just, you don't poke the bear. It's a comedy, right? Eh. Rogan and. Is it a comedy? I mean, their movies, some people don't think so. I would find it to be like funny. Like that, what's the one where it was the neighbors, wasn't that Seth Rogen? Yes. Did you see that? I have not. Because it looked like a dark comedy to me. And? I haven't seen it. Okay. <laughs> That's why I was asking if this you had. One, this one is, uh, they, uh, what I think, James Franco is a like a game, like a TV host. Okay. And then he lands this awesome interview with Kim, Kim Jong-un, mm-hmm. and they can't believe it. Seth Rogen is his producer. They're going to go do it. And the CIA says, we want you to kill him. Yeah. And then they do. Yeah. Well, they, we want you to take them out to dinner. Yeah. See, you've seen the trailer. Yeah, I've seen the trailer for <laughs> so it. So now it's going away because wow. who knows? So that they think North Korea is responsible for this hack. Right. Which? Yeah, I doubt it. You yeah. doubt it, Nick? I doubt it because uh, I saw a really funny thing that was just linking you to their like own country's tourist site. Okay. And their, tu- their tourist site is terrible. So they like, have no web capability. They have no saying. web capability. Like, we as a team right here could build a better website. What? Than... And we suck at that. Wait, yeah. now they're going to leak all of our stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're hacking us. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Nick. Wait, I don't, nobody wants to read my emails. They're so boring. We don't want to, exactly. That'll be the thing. <laughs> so like, boring. How boring Connie is. And mine will be like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One word. And mine are like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> the ears will just be still waiting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There will be a long list of things that Connie has emailed me. Super long paragraphs, and then there'll be no response. Hello? Wait, where are the Curtis Hello? emails? What are they getting leaked? Oh, uh, no, he, he never sent them. He's got an Android. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't get them. It's still spinning. Wake, Wake up. Wake up.